Welcome to the channel. I'm going to do a little shop walkthrough. I'm going to show you what we have. It's a 2100 square foot shop in my backyard. Very fortunate enough to have the space to do that. But, uh, we got our compressor there. You're going to see a lot of DeWalt tools. Um, we got our miter saw there. Six foot table on either side and some drawers for tools. Got a 10 inch grizzly cabinet saw there. A bit of an obnoxious uh, outfeed table, but we use it for a lot of assembly of, in working on various projects. Storage on the walls, some clamps, levels, whatnot. We got some storage racks for our hardwood material. We got a 25 by 50 open ended Supermax drum sander. It gets a lot of use. I'm really happy to have that here. Uh, and then we have odds and ends tools that we set to the side if we're not using them. Those don't get used very much. We got a clamping table in the back. I'm um, still kind of working on that, but uh, built that mainly for putting face frames together. Works pretty good, but you kind of figure out the track system. Got uh, an assembly table there, and then our some tool storage. Again, you're going to see a lot of a lot of Dewalt. Um, pretty much all of my battery operated stuff is Dewalt. Um, I will say that uh, I did buy the 18 gauge Milwaukee uh, pin nailer and by far I love it so much more than the DeWalt. Uh, we've had two DeWalts and within a year both of them br have broken so we've kind of moved away from that uh, DeWalt for for that tool anyway. I'm super happy with that. There's the other side of the outfeed table. Uh, some drawers, mainly keep our sandpaper and stuff in there. Got our grizzly dust collector there in the corner, uh, which feeds the table saw, also feeds the drum sander there, and then feeds the CNC over in the corner, which I'll get to. Probably the most useful tool in the shop, that is our air conditioning, essential for uh, hot Nebraska summers. All right, so walking into our finish room, paint room, whatever. Um, we have some racks on the wall for finished projects. Um, we have some doors that were painted today, so they're 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 drying. Uh, we do have three pumps in the uh, in the shop here. Uh, one is for our spar urethane, and then we have one for our lacquer, and then the third one is for paint. Um, we do a lot of priming on projects, don't do a lot of painting, but it, it's nice to have it. Got some storage back there, fridge for cold water, and then uh, odds and ends stains and finishes, paints, whatnot. Back out in the main part of the shop. Um, this is our Shop Saber Pro 510 CNC as the vacuum table. Um, I will do some videos of this beast in action. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button, uh, like the video, and comment below on what things you'd like to see me do with the CNC. Uh, today, we do a lot of cabinets with this. Uh, we do some slab flattening, um, and we also do cornholes, which I'll talk more about the cornholes in a future video, but uh, something that's we've been doing for, for quite a while, and we still get requests for it, uh, so we continue to do that. So we've basically automated our process to cut everything that we need for the cornholes on the, uh, on the Shop Saber CNC. Uh, Control PNC control PC for the uh, for the CNC is there. Uh, we have our scraps, cutoffs in the corner there. It's a lot of them. Need to figure out a better way of storing those. And then 
Back around we have our racks for our sheet goods. Um, we usually store three quarter inch, half inch Baltic birch, um, and then you know whatever other materials that we might need for a project. Uh, you also see some golf clubs there. Um, my dad, lifelong golfer, always seems to have new golf clubs at his house and every time I'm over there he's like, hey, take these. I don't know that I'll use them, but we'll put them somewhere. Got more cutoffs and such there. It's a little rolling cart. It doesn't move. I don't know why I have wheels on it, but uh, it is there. It has wheels. It does move. And then uh, we have another assembly table with some storage cubbies for various parts. The, the one down there in the, uh, in the middle is, is our parts for our corn holes. Then we got some customer projects here. Um, some walnut slabs for making some cutting boards and charcuterie boards. And then the timber. Um, we actually have a whole trailer full of them that uh, the customer has asked us to flatten them out, uh, wants to use them for uh, pillars for his uh, uh, covered porch on his house that he's building, and then a cabinet that uh, waiting for uh, a remodeler to come pick up for a closet, and then we have some other cutoffs, um, there's some live edge material back there as well. Uh, paying back over here, TV, essential for Sundays and football. And then up in the corner is a, another spray booth, paint booth that a buddy of mine uses uh, to spray doors or whatever projects that he's working on. Uh, the middle is more or less storage, kind of a catch-all for stuff. Um, it does have our forced air heater up there, which actually works really, really good. Um, before that, we were using kerosene heaters in here, and I can't... I can't tell you how bad it smelled in here and um, everybody said the same thing so it was really nice to, to get a uh, scratch and dent unit from a buddy of mine and uh, put that in uh, a little over a year ago so that that works really really well we got one outlet here in the main part of the shop and then there's two it back in the paint room um, the other part up there on the right behind that window is an office um, it's got a couch and a chair and a desk. Uh, we have TV up there for downtime, I guess, if we ever have it. We don't really, but it's there if we need it. Um, and then we have a computer up there for uh, doing paperwork, um, video editing, that kind of stuff. So, appreciate it if you uh, subscribe, comment below. i uh, love to do a lot more projects with the, uh, the CNC here. Um, film those for you, kind of walk you through if you're considering possibly getting a CNC. I can't say enough good things about the Shop Saber brand. Um, there's a lot of videos out there um, on their channel. Uh, wonderful gentleman called Router Bob is uh, kind of the host of a lot of the videos. Um, does a great job walking you through kind of the makeup of the machine, how it's constructed, the, uh, the selling points for it. Um, but if you want to see kind of real life use of it, I'm happy to, to show you anything that you, uh, that you want to see. Just go ahead and uh, comment below, subscribe, and uh, we'll produce those in the future. Thanks for tuning in.